Tuesday. I am completely and totally exhausted. I had one of the worst days I've ever had at work and I was coming home and driving and just like crying, crying, crying and there was flowers on my porch. Um, they weren't all out and pretty, they were in a box and it's because it's my two year anniversary with JP, my boyfriend, and <laughs> I forgot, like I didn't, I knew it was coming, but I forgot today, uh, and got me two dozen roses, and I know I'm being really awkward having the roses in the picture, but they're so pretty, and I just wanted them in my video, so, um, yeah, that was, that was why today's awesome, <laughs> the other part of that was why today was not awesome. Yeah, I just had really a, a really quite bad altercation with some of my students that were my juniors, which are the ones that bring me so much joy and make me feel like a good teacher and a good person, and then today they just like, seemed like a lot of just really mean things came out of them that made me feel like they really don't respect me at all, and it, it just really hurt more than it usually hurts with my freshmen. So that was bad. But anyways, moving on. Uh, I feel like I, once again, am probably missing some things. I really, really, really need to get it together with making notes when I'm watching your videos because I always think of all these things that I'm going to say and then I forget to write them down and then I don't have time to watch the videos again and then I just forget them and I'm a horrible person and I don't want to do that. So, but I have a couple things written down. It seems to always usually be mostly from Claire's video because that's the one I watch when it's getting close to time to make my video and then I start making notes. Um, Tanger Outlets. Claire, I looked it up and you went to the Tanger Outlets that is not the one next to where I'm going to live. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> you still saw the area where I'm going to live. Um, in fact, you may probably still be there now, which is awesome. Um, yeah. The other Tanger Outlets on 501, that is very, very close to where I'm going to live, about five minutes, so, um, and I actually already know where I'm going to live. I think I explained this before, but I'm not sure. Uh, the plan is for me to move in with JP's grandma, um, who he is actually currently living with, but he's going to move out and get some kind of apartment, and I'm going to move in with his grandma and his sister, actually. Um, that's the plan and I'm super excited about it. So anyways, I know the exact house that I'm going to live in and I was there for spring break, so. Single Quest, um, that sounds really amazing. The, the thing about it that sounded most amazing uh, to me, which was something that I did not really fully embrace until I was about 19 or 20, uh, so I'm so happy for you that you've really realized this uh, only um, at age 16. Uh, but it's really, really, really important to see guys as brothers in Christ and not as potential boyfriends. I mean, I've struggled with this forever, and even once I really realized it and wanted to change it, I still struggled with it very much. Uh, every single guy that I met, basically ever, my mind was going, is this a potential boyfriend? Is this the one? Uh, could he like me? Do I like him? All these things, always, constantly. I, it, it was really hard for me to ever just have a completely platonic friendship with a guy. But yeah, that, that's something that I really learned and really had a profound effect on me, uh, is to really, really intentionally uh, pray about not seeing guys as only a potential uh, to date and, and praying to see them as brothers. So I just literally cannot even, just literally cannot even, like I filmed this great video, not great, but I talked for a long time, and then started editing it, and my camera just stopped filming, and then I just filmed myself again, and my camera just stopped filming, so this is the third time, <laughs> third time, uh, I'm literally like, I'm thinking I'm just going to like buy a camera tonight online, but actually I'll probably do it tomorrow, but I literally am going to buy a camera because this is getting ridiculous. So, anyways, all of that to say, I'm going to say one more thing because I just can't repeat everything that I just said, but I will talk about how my family bonds because that is the best question anyone has ever asked. I just love that question so much, Kat. 
Um, and the three things, I came up with three things, uh, are playing games and food and music. Um, so we don't really bond over movies. My dad actually really doesn't like watching movies. He usually finds something inappropriate about it, and it's just, we usually can never find a good movie to watch as a family. Um, but, of course, I love movies. But, anyways, that's not a way that we bond as a family. So, But we play board games. We play Parcheesi. We're still recording. Okay. So, Parcheesi, which is, like, super fun, and we get really into it, and all kinds of other card games and board games. And then food. We make food and eat food and love food and talk about food, and we're obsessed. And music. My parents both teach orchestra, and... Uh, my siblings and I play instruments slash played. Me and my sister don't really play anymore. My brother definitely is in high school and plays viola and orchestra. I played violin. My sister played cello. So usually at Christmas time, my mom will pull out some really easy Christmas music. She teaches middle school orchestra. And we'll play, and we love it. And we also all definitely love music, so that's something that bonds us. Still recording. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm just like... <laughs> so exhausted and tired and I just can't even believe how many times I've had to film this so goodbye I love you girls have a great day Carrie I'll see you tomorrow bye